Wild Kids Club, and we've got the challenge. Miss Rachel and Mr. Dave are going head to head. One nil to me so far. I'm gonna win. Ooh, in the ooh, 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 here we go. Oh my goodness, my nuts is like cheese! Okay, okay, okay. We've got 15 cotton balls, and they've got Massey on their nose, and they have to get all of them into the next ball before time runs out. Who thinks who's gonna win? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> One, two, three, go! talking to you today about light and dark. Now, who likes the dark? It's fun, isn't it? I love to play games in the dark. We can play murder in the dark, where you pretend to kill off all your friends, see who the winner is. We can play hide and seek with a torch. You can play sardines, where you gotta find someone and then everyone hides with them. Or we've actually got a glow in the dark frisbee, and that is super fun. I bet you guys all love playing in the dark. Now the dark can be so fun, but if you're trying to get something done and there's a power cut, it's really, really difficult. It makes things really tricky. The dark can be tricky when we're trying to do things. I remember when I was a girl, we'd moved houses lots of times in a row and I woke up in the middle of the night and I needed the bathroom, but I couldn't remember where I was. So I jumped up out of my bed and I'm thinking, oh, wh where do I live? Where's the door? And I, was, I, was, I just could not remember. I couldn't remember where I lived now. I couldn't remember where the door was, what my bedroom looked like. I was a bit sleepy as well, which wouldn't have helped. And so I walked along and I'm feeling the wall. I found a wall and I was like, okay, if I could just go around the walls, I'll get to the place where I can find the door. So I just kept feeling all the way around the walls until finally I got to where the door was, felt for the light, and switched it on and straight away oh I remember where I live now and I was fine it's not really a nice feeling in the dark if we don't know where we are or if we don't know what's happening sometimes even though it's light we might feel like we're in the dark it's like I don't know what I'm doing or I don't know why something's happening or we feel maybe a little bit anxious on the inside because it's like, what, why am I feeling this? I can't see what's happening. I don't know what the plan is. Everything gets a little bit confusing. It's kind of like we're in the dark. So I want to share a Bible verse with you. It's from John chapter 8, verse 12. And in the verse, Jesus tells us, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you'll have the light that leads to life. Isn't that good news? If we follow Jesus, we won't have to walk in darkness because we'll have the light. If we've got Jesus in our hearts, if we've got Jesus in our lives, he'll always light up just the path in front of us so we know exactly what step to take. Jesus promises that he'll be with us, that he'll be the light that shows us exactly what to do. When we have Jesus in us, we always know that we can be led in the right direction. He always leads us in the best way. All right, boys and girls, I'm here with Abby, and we got together, we'd make some glow-in-the-dark bottles, all right? So the cool thing about this is it's like a night light. You can use it at night if you need to go from your um, bed to the bathroom, or you need to find your teddy because it fell out of bed, things like that, all right? So to make these, what you're gonna need is you'll need a bottle, a pencil, sharp pencil, really sharp, some tin foil, and a glow stick. I've got two because I'm special. <laughs> so what I did first, okay, to make this, is we're gonna take the, take the wrapper off and you can use that to cut how big a piece of foil you need. If it's the same length, then you know it'll be about the right size to go around the bottle. 
all right so that's what i've done and then if, as long as it's about the right height as the bottle and then some to tuck in underneath then it'll be all covered up so the next thing we need to do is we need to get our sharp pencils and we need to make patterns I want to make lots and lots of holes for the light to shine through okay so so we just make some holes like this oh I see all right and then you might want to do some some big ones so just lift it up and carefully pierce holes through make some put your pencil through make it nice big holes for the light to shine through just like that yep and then you just keep going make whatever patterns you want and decorate it so it looks really cool And then we can use a little bit of tape. I've got my bottle all wrapped up. Abby's got her bottle all wrapped up and it looks great. All right, so boys and girls, can you remember before how I was talking about how Jesus is the light? He is the light of the whole world. And see, I want to think that maybe this is like you or this is like me. And at the moment, it's just a bottle and it's wrapped in foil. And you know, even if I went into a really dark place right now, there, would be, there wouldn't be any light that shines out. But the Bible verse that we were talking about said that when we have Jesus, when we have the light, then we can see where to go. What we want to do is add some light to our bottle. So take off your lid carefully and then get your glow stick. You'll need to crack it. And what we do is we put the glow stick into the bottle, just like when Jesus comes to be part of our lives. Oh, I can already see it shining a little bit just now. But what we're going to do is we're going to wait till tonight. And tonight we'll be able to see the light shining through the foil. And it'll be just like a night light. It'll be kind of cool. So remember, Jesus is the real light. And when we've got Jesus in our lives, he shines through us in everything we do, but also he shows us exactly what the way to go. And so things aren't overwhelming. Dark feelings, dark spaces, mm -mm. all good, because we've got Jesus, the light, on the inside of us, helping us. So here I am with our bottles, and they're all finished. These bottles, just like we spoke about, these bottles have got like Jesus on the inside. Well, they've got glow sticks, but they light up everywhere. We're about to turn the lights off, and we'll see what we can see. Cool. Can you see that? That's pretty cool, isn't it?